Shani Luke was enjoying a music festival when Hamas militants kidnapped her and paraded her half-naked body. Videos of it were watched around the world, including by her school friend. She's just a young, sweet girl, innocent, and what they've done to her is just... you can't even comprehend. Stav's family live in Israel. She knows many of those who have died or gone missing, including Atai Berdachevsky. He and his wife bravely put their babies in the shelter, locked it from the outside, broke the, the, the shelter's door, and then in a matter of seconds, they've both been murdered. Their babies were in the shelter for 12 to 14 hours alone. Like, we're talking about 10 months old babies with no formula, no food. Around 50 to 60,000 British nationals are meant to be in Israel or Gaza, leaving friends and family concerned for their safety. Vigils have provided an opportunity for Israelis and Jews to come together. Many are fearful for the future. I honestly feel it's Holocaust 2.0. I, I, I've the videos, I mean, in the Holocaust, you didn't have social media to witness the horror, but the terrorists this time around proudly, proudly filmed everything. And it is Holocaust because they go and they murdered. For those with loved ones missing in Israel and Gaza, all they can do now is wait and pray. Alice Porter, Sky News.